everybody? Yeah, how's everybody doing this morning? We're so glad you all are here. My name is Dan. I actually pastor the church here at the floor. Man, we've got a special service, our Frank Brown International Songwriters Festival. Say that a few times. Had to remember that whole thing. Yeah, so if uh, you're here for church, Frank Brown weekend, if you're here for the Frank Brown uh, Festival, we're so glad you guys are hanging out with us. Just a couple things real quick before we get going. Um, if this is your very first time here, we want to welcome you. Thanks for being a part of this weekend. We're so glad you guys are here. We'd love to connect with you. Super easy to do. All I have to do after the service today is go to one of our info tables. I'll team, our team will get you connected and everything going on. When you walked in today, you should have got one of our... Uh, church programs. If you didn't get one, you snuck past our greeter somehow, just shoot your hand up. We've got bios of all of our musicians that are going to be with us, all of our songwriters and uh, information going on at the church. If you would like to get connected, we would love to connect you. Easiest way to do it um, is just by grabbing one of our next step cards filling that out, and uh, we'll get you hooked up with everything going on here at the church. You can just drop that in one of our giving stations, which are all the places we've got one here and one here, um, one on your way out towards the gift shop. That's also a place if you have an offering you would like to give, you can drop it in there and help us uh, fulfill our mission, which is to introduce people to Jesus and help them follow him. That's what we're all about here. So uh, thank you guys for your generosity. Well, it's a pretty special weekend, not just because of Frank Brown, but this weekend, we celebrate our veterans. And so if you are, yeah, yeah. If you are a veteran of the armed forces and you're able to, would you please stand so we can... Well, that was, I was just... <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, thank you. Hey, that wasn't a dig on your age. You know, if you're able, that's a nice thing to say, you know. Well, listen, in just a moment, John is going to come up and introduce you to all of our songwriters. But before we do that, I know uh, you just got comfortable. Would you stand with me? I would love for you to find one of those veterans that was standing and say, thank you. Give him a hug. Welcome someone to church. <laughs> Let's do her. Give me don't. Give me a go. We can start in the middle, whatever. All right, everybody. Good morning. Go ahead and have a seat. We'll get this rolling. I'm John Mason Smith. I'm on staff here at the church. So excited for Frank Brown Songwriters Gospel Show, and uh, and you're in for a very special treat. This entire service today will be music, and uh, they're all going to take time sharing their own music for the show. It's kind kind of neat this year. She said every single person is singing. Asked we didn't ask them; they asked us if they could perform. So I'm very excited by that. Woohoo! <laughs> All right, I'm going to introduce our singers. Inside, uh, inside the program, by the way, this program, there is a long bio, and inside this program is not the latest, but places that you're able to see them after the show if you want to go see them perform. This is a merchandise table over here, which also has their CDs and stuff, but it has these programs and stuff. Be sure to grab one of those. We only have 200, so the first one's to grab them. Get them. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to introduce Mr. Jimmy Payne. In your, in your uh, church program, there's a short bio on each of these. And over here in the middle is Gerald Smith. Yeah. And then on the end with Melody Roundup Music, we have the lovely Amanda Pruitt. Woo! Songwriters, I'll turn it over to you. All right, I'm going to kick this off today. My guitar. This is an old song that I wrote with Jim Glazer several years ago, and um, there's not been that many records on it. I recorded it, and uh, a few people over in Europe, and it was a single of the year, or song of the year, and for the British Country Music Association one year. Wasn't my version, or somebody else's, but anyway, I'd like to do it for you this morning. It's called Walk With Me the Rest of the Way. I 
told you it was an old song. <laughs> of the chorus and a bunch of steel guitar music on it and we didn't have a steel player today <laughs> Gerald I guess you're on buddy I'm up now all right well it's great to be at uh, Frank Brown songwriters festival again it's uh, I always have a big time here and see a lot of great folks and uh, anyway I'm gonna do you a song that me and Bill White and Lisa Schaefer wrote uh, probably a couple of years ago and it actually got cut uh, I think it's been about a year and a half ago, and uh, it was on the uh, Bluegrass radio. Uh, uh, anyway, it was a number one for Darren and Brooke Aldrich. Some of y'all may know them, Bluegrass artists. It's called He's Coming. No one knows the day or the hour When the good Lord's coming back Signs it won't be long now. Better get your life on track. He's coming. Are you going? Trains arriving. Whistles blowing. Are you ready? Do you know him? He's coming. Are you going? Sale. The only way to get to heaven is if you 
riding on God's rail. Y'all help me. He's a coming. He's coming. Are you going? Trains arriving. Whistles blowing. Are you ready? Do you know him? He's a coming. Are you going? He's a coming. He's coming. Are you going? Trains arriving. Whistles blowing. Are you ready? Do you know him? He's coming. Are you going? Are you ready? Do you know him? He's coming. Are you going? Yeah. yeah. Thank y'all. Well, I'm just like super honored um, and nervous to be here this morning. So um, it's been an honor just to to be a part of uh, all of Frank Brown, period. But um, all the wonderful stages out there this week, this one right here means a ton to me. So um, I just thank you for that. And um, I released a gospel album about uh, four years ago. I thought uh, that that was really what the Lord wanted me to do, was just do gospel music. And then I realized that... Um, I think I was strong. I think I'm strong enough to do both of them. So um, it's a lot easier said than done, though. And when you're questioning yourself, sometimes it's easier said than done. Don't you think it was easier said than done for him too?
was easier said than done. With old blood and scars, it was easier said than done. Yeah. This is my third uh, year to, to perform at the church here, and I and, uh, always love doing this. In fact, I changed my schedule this time so that I could be down here on the, the, this particular service. And you all are just always so special. I grew up over in southeast Missouri uh, in a very country family, and my mother was an old-fashioned Baptist Pentecostal. And and she and well, you had to pray a lot when you had nine kids at home at one time. There, I was the youngest of nine kids. There were there were a couple that got married while I, I before I even realized that uh, they they ever lived at home. And that that's how many years we were apart. But anyhow, I got special treatment a few times, I guess, being the youngest. And uh, but ever since I've been in Nashville, I've been her. Nashville 52 years I guess now and and uh, I kind of defeated the odds when I first got there they, they said give it five years before you ever expect to do anything well I got signed to Epic Records just before I even moved to Nashville and the first five months I lived there uh, Jim Glazer and I got together to write and we wrote the biggest song of my career and I first I recorded the first record on it and got covered by Glenn Campbell and Gary Puckett and the Union Gap. It was the, you you'll know the song, but I'm not going to sing it today. <laughs> it was "Woman, Woman, Have You Got Cheating on Your Mind" by Gary Puckett, and I had the the very first record, and it goes like this. No, I'm kidding you now. But I am going to sing a song that. Uh, I was inspired to write because of my mother. She was, I wanted to do a, a tribute to all the praying mothers of the world. And uh, my wife is one of those ladies and she's sitting over here today. Well, I can't see her right now. I know she's over there. I've got faith to believe that she's over there. <laughs> anyway, this song is called When Mama Prayed and I wrote this with a very good friend of mine who passed away about six or seven years ago, Mr. Don Wayne. I knew Don was a special person that could write a story song. He had written Saginaw, Michigan and by Lefty Frizzell and Country Bumpkin by Cal Smith. One of the greatest story songs that I think ever was written. But anyhow, I chose him to be my co-writer on this song and, and so we, I think we pulled it off. Anyway, it goes like this. Daddy was a big man but not big
Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, Jimmy, that's great. I'll do you, a, I'm going to do you a daddy song too. This is a song about my daddy. Uh, he was a, a good guy. guitar case behind the seat of his pickup truck Just in case he had a show to do at the nursing home or church A little man five feet tall they called him Shorty for short and I get to share my testimony all over the country at uh, different churches when I'm out on the road I, I um, try very hard to stop in at a church on a Sunday on my way out and either share some music or um, share my, my testimony and so I get to share just a little bit with it uh, with y'all and so um, anyway uh, four years ago you know life has been life has been hard ridiculous but uh up until four years ago, you know, uh, we just took a lot of things for granted. And um, we lost our, our 13 year old son in a hunting accident. And the doctors put us on uh, several medications during that point to help us get up in the morning, help us sleep, help us just <laughs> deal with every day. And they worked for a long time. And, um, but it come to the point where I was now forming an addiction that I had given up a long, long time ago, all over again. And it was prescribed to me by the doctors. A friend of mine and I, he lost his son too, and uh, we sat down and we wrote this song. Which way 
down my way What a great song. I wrote this song uh, from the standpoint of a new convert to Christ. And I have it on one of my CDs that's here today. Can't remember which one it's on. I got a gospel CD and a country CD with some gospel songs on it. Goes like this. Shepherd and Bill Warrington, and it, it's got a good message to it. It's not particularly a, uh, a Christian church song, it's, it's got a good message to it. And Trudy was a widow woman that had lots of money, a thousand acres and a big old Monday. Do she had a lot of kin, some 
live way out of town We weren't sure just where they were or how to track them down But where there's a will, there's a relative It's amazing how they come from everywhere They want to share Well, we hadn't seen that line in length In a year of Sundays She got news Aunt Trudy died Here she come a-running And Uncle Bill had left the hill Since 1987 Said his arthritis kept him down And he couldn't handle traveling And how they come from everywhere Where there's a will, there's a relative It ain't just grief they want to share Well, Aunt Louise thought she would be in the will and testimony after nursing Aunt Trudy through a bout with bad baloney And Uncle Pete liked antiques, Trudy had a lot they say Well he figured he would get them all and sell them off on eBay But if you could have seen their faces, you'd seen how bad it hurt When every single thing went to the Friendship Baptist Church And how they come from everywhere Where there's a will, there's a relative It ain't just grief they want to share No, it ain't just grief they want to share Thank y'all. So awesome. Um, Gerald Smith, he's been a part of my life now for about two years. And um, when I very first writer, um, one of the very first writers I ever wrote with in Nashville, and uh, moved there from Texas a year and a half ago to focus on songwriting. And um, I was signed with Melody Roundup Music. And um, he's been my compadre for about a year and a half. And I always call on him when I want to write gospel music because I know I can count on him to keep it biblical and keep it straight. And um, we still haven't wrote a funny song yet, though, so but, um, I'm you working will. on that one. But um, I don't I, have many gospel funny songs. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we'll have to figure something out. But uh, I come to him about a month or two months, three months ago, and I was like, Gerald, I, let's, let's write a gospel song. And he come up with this hook, and, um, or he had found this hook, and... Uh, this I, is what I stole it actually. <laughs> 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 Off these billboards, uh, I, I get a lot of hooks from billboards and wherever you know. You songwriters know you got to get them anywhere you can. <laughs> yeah, and then you got to know. Uh, well, the, the tricky part is how to write them once you get them. <laughs> I know that's that's the truth. I've I've learned so much from him. Him being my mentor, and um, I can just call on him, and he, he keeps me straight. So I'm very honored, uh, Mr. Gerald Smith. It's been an honor to work with you, sir. And you're well, awesome. you too. You're, you're wonderful. Great singer and songwriter Thank yourself. You. Thank you. Uh, moving to Nashville, it's been rough. Let's just say at least coming from Texas and uh, playing the honky-tonk scene, um, going into a, the songwriter world, it's been uh, just crazy. And so um, at times I want to give up, and at times... Um, I don't know what in the world I'm even doing there. And um, this is just a reminder, when y'all get down, it's okay to just kneel.
today. always enjoy uh, rounds with Gerald when I get an opportunity to in Nashville. We do a few things together. As well. well, Jimmy Payne, you're about the best one I, I pick with. I'll go on. I'll, I'll go on. <laughs> he meant go on. He didn't mean go no, on. Go home. <laughs> no, don't go home. <laughs> well, you sang a, a country song a while ago that wasn't exactly a religious song. Yeah, you got a, well, uh, that I, had a good message, didn't it? it? Well, this yeah. <laughs> This one, this one's got a good message too. In fact, I got the idea to write it in church, so maybe that qualifies. <laughs> <laughs> there was a, a preacher one Wednesday night preached at our church, and his message was, "Don't hang around with the dream robbers," he said. And I, I kind of heard that different in my mind. I, I said, "Stay away from." I, I thought about it a while. I said, "Stay away from the dream stealers." And I believe I may have sung this last year when I was here, but. I'm going to try it for y'all today. It'll preach any day of the week. This message will. <laughs>
Thank you. Thank you so much. I remember that song uh, yeah. from last year. Great song. We lost a, a good friend and a, a great songwriter here just recently, Mr. Dennis Knutson. And uh, Dennis was a great, great writer, wrote a lot of big hits. And uh, he was writing up uh, where me and uh, Amanda write at Melody Roundup Music. And uh, anyway, uh, we got to write this song with him. And uh, I actually put it out on the radio, and it uh, went to number two in the Christian country charts. And uh, it's called Thank You, Jesus. Well, I take a lot of things for granted Always reaping from the seeds I planted Beets are red, the corn in the field grows tall I know I don't tell you happy enough How much I appreciate your love But thank you, Jesus Jelly on my toes, apples on my trees, grandbaby bouncing on my knees, red bellied Ford out plowing in the field right now. Four stations on my color TV, pretty little wife just loving on me. Thank you, Jesus. Every time I turn around, there's more good news coming around. Prayers go up and blessings come down. Thank you, Jesus. There's a Jersey cow waiting on the milking. Fine ripe tomatoes waiting on the picking. Tin roof over my head keeping Sleep, putting me to sleep. A car that gets me to work on Monday. A truck that gets me to church on Sunday. Thank you, Jesus. But every time I turn around, the more good news coming around. Prayers go up and blessings come down. Thank you, Jesus. so awesome. Yeah, you're just wonderful. So um, I was put to a challenge to uh, write a praise and worship song a few years back. And I don't do that very well because I'm a storyteller and I, I like to have a point to the story. But I tried it and this is what happened. Understanding there's not much left The dark clouds keep on rolling Fight them up every single day Get behind me, get out of my way Ooh, I need you, Lord 
Thank you. All right, thank you, songwriters. Amazing. Isn't that great? Give it up. Come on. Thank you. I'm going to take a picture of all you folks. <laughs> Hey, uh, we like to do this thing called Stump the Songwriters, and we get them to play a song they don't have the words to. It's always fun. Um, but uh, they're going to play I Fly Away here in a second. But be sure to stop over here on my left, your right, and there's a Merck table. But it has a, also these programs, which show you where they're going to be elsewhere, and also all the other songwriter events. We would love to have you come out. And no matter what you face this week, remember, Romans 8 tells us that if God is for us, who could be against us? We'll see you later. Thank you, songwriters. Try it. <laughs> Sing along with them. You mind if I do a quack on this? Go ahead. Anyway you want. Thank you.